Hi guys. So I just thought I would try and share a little video with you of my writing process because I am a pantster and for those who don't know, that means I don't plot anything ahead of time and even when I'm doing my novels, it's that way. So they often wonder how that happens. How am I able just to start with a blank page and write from the very beginning to the very end? So I'm actually gonna go off the cup. I have nothing planned and I'm going to show you this. I don't know how long I'll go for because I don't wanna bore you just watching me type for like an hour. Uh, if I was doing this live, I would ask what you guys want me to write about, but because I'm not and I'm just starting blank page, no ideas. Um, so because it's a rainy day, I'm going to say, let's start with a puddle and the premise will be alternate dimension. Okay, and this is how I write. And excuse the spelling, I'm not going to correct any of that while I'm going because I'm trying to go quick here for you. I'm also going to try and talk while I do this, which I've never done before, so bear with me. It rained three days. I'm finding the talking out loud while I'm doing it is actually breaking my concentration. Because <laughs> the way this works for me is I see, it's almost like a movie playing in my head. Um, so I'm really just typing what I'm visualizing. So trying to speak while I'm visualizing is actually a little bit hard, but I don't want you just to watch the typing because you might not be able to read it. And again, you're gonna have to excuse the spelling and all the errors and that, because I don't worry about that on first draft. I just get it out of my head and then I'll go back and I'll fix and I'll fill and I'll do whatever has to be done to make it a better read, of course. Okay, so it rained three days straight. It wasn't just typical showers. But a deluge. against the roof and a pounding waterfall. Nathan hated the rain. It wasn't the wet that bothered him, but the dampness that seeped through his flesh and into his bones. Or it was Monday. And he had to go to work. He wished he could call in a rain day. Oof. 
and water. Okay, don't care for that line, but I'll fix it later. He left four blocks from the subway entrance. And didn't own a car of his own. Normally the walk was pleasant and quick. Dodging. Puddles and torrents of water that sluiced. Rooftops made his trick difficult. A puddle which to him appeared more as a lake. With no way around. Unless he wanted to attempt crossing the busy road and that appeared impossible. Moving to his tiptoes, he stepped into the water, hoping if he stayed close to the building, it would be shallower. Two steps in, and he was already up to his ankles. <clears throat> Cursing this day, he said, <clears throat> screw it. decided to walk forward thinking two good leaps should take him across and be done with it. On both feet, the puddle beneath him was gone. The sky above no longer dumped. 
I'm going to say rain, but I'm going to find a different word. I don't want to say rain a hundred times or water, all that. I'd change all that later. The sky above was no longer dumped rain. And was... A deep orange. Hue. Okay. So he's got in the puddle and he's gone into the other dimension. Now, normally I would take a little more time and think about um, the sentences I'm using, the words I'm using to try and not have to go back and fix so much. But because I'm typing while you're watching and I don't want this to be two hours long, I'm going to leave it there. And um, so that's exactly how I do it. I literally just start typing and keep typing until I hit the end. And then I'll go back and fix it. Um, so. If I decide that I actually want to follow through with this story, because I do have other stuff I'm working on right now, I'll clean it up, I'll get it done, and then I'll share it so you can see what happens to Nathan in this other dimension. And thank you for watching.